Cada uno. It's uh, probably 10.30 p.m. or something. I'm not quite sure. <coughs> I'm uh, in the bomb shelter. Uh, came down to bring something here. And uh, realized it's been another day where I didn't get to share meditation with everybody until rather late. Here we are. And uh, quite thought about what kind of meditation I do, but I thought breathing at ease sounded pretty good. Just finished a meditation class a couple hours ago, and there were some questions about breathing. So I guess as usual, I'll give you a little bit of a look around. I don't think there's much to see. Ow. But not surprisingly, there is the uh, I beam, which uh, is a nice tradition of bumping into. I think just about every time. There's some of the uh, solar hot water system piping. And you can see where the I beam supported on the brick. Uh, you can see a little bit of the wiring and plumbing I've been doing since we've gotten here. And uh, there's a sump pump down there. All the new piping for that, and in fact, the floor is new, and uh, the uh, shelf full of who knows what. Uh, that's all hot water, solar behind here. All the piping that goes through the house, and then just uh, a bunch of random stuff. Some mailboxes that were here when I moved to the farm, and uh, something organized like of uh, buckets and containers and uh, uh, some insulation that got moved here while some other constructions going on but they have a little bit of a sense of that and uh, <coughs> see if I can balance this on the pipe perhaps see if that might kind of work feels like if I do this well, it might lean, but it can't fall. <coughs> we'll see if I can do a little bit of a standing meditation. I think quite often we end up sitting. There's our uh, nice high beam. And uh, probably should have shown you the vents. There's vents on either side. But at any rate, Breathing at ease. I'm standing with my feet parallel, about shoulder width apart, hip width. I'm floating the wrists up and away, so I'm being led by the watch face. Inhaling through the nose, and then the wrists travel towards the collarbones, and then the watch clasp falls towards stomach 41 or the thighs or the floor oops sorry I can't imagine how stark the light must be there's a single light bulb that lights this joint up <coughs>
profile. Inhale, wrists rise up and away. Wrists travel towards the collarbones. Exhale, wrists fall. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And so breathing in ease, the idea is that from start to finish, the breath, I guess I can come a little closer now. I'll see if I can, uh, yeah, slightly shade the bulb, but probably is better. Although seeing me, I don't know, seeing me is better or not. You know, but maybe we're learning something. Maybe not. But breathing in ease for the duration of the breath, whether inhale or exhale, the same applies. For the duration of the breath, the quality of that breath remains the same. The speed, the volume, the intensity the gentleness, the softness of the breath is the same start to finish. There's a homogeneity to the in-breath, a homogeneity to the out-breath. So, if, let's say, my in-breath, <coughs> uh, a full, complete, thorough, you know, comprehensive in-breath would take, uh, let's say, 20 seconds just to pick a number. It's not a challenge, just the number I said. And if I feel that I stay consistent in the quality of that breath, for, let's say, 15 seconds rather than the 20 I knew it would take to be the breath. So the last five seconds will be a challenge. The, the, the tone, the tenor, the quality, the ease with which I breathe changes, becomes challenged, probably due to physiological response. So then at the 15 second mark, I'm done with that inhalation. I won't get to that 20 second full inhalation. And the same, of course, goes for the out breath. If my out breath I know was going to take 10 seconds, again, just to pick a number, and I maintain along that 10 second track a very self same breath, an ease through that breath. But at the eight, second mark, some tension is introduced, or some hurriedness is introduced, or the volume changes, for example, or basically any quality changes, then I release from that out-breath. I'm done with the out-breath. And then we begin an inhalation. So the primacy here is The continuous quality of the breath, not the full volume, not what I planned. Is that so? We'll come back. Maybe for tradition, I'll hit my head into the uh, I beam for you. It's never a delight. I think I was doing a profile, so I'll try again. So through the entire inhalation, I'm trying to have this ease, breathing and ease, exhale, feet parallel, knees bent, buttocks slack, head I should do this here, the head suspended from above, releasing in the shoulders, leading only with the wrist. Leading with 
the watch face up and away, drawing the wrists in towards the collarbones, releasing the watch clasp. So I might be going a little fast for ear breathing, but you'll get the idea. So, inhale. and so forth. I think it'll get pretty boring to watch that an awful lot. So, breathing in ease. Of course, it's intentionally a phrase I use here. To suggest, perhaps, that what you are inhaling is this quality of ease. So breathing in ease. But I'm also breathing in, parenthetically, a state of ease. So I'm breathing in ease, breathing in ease. This could be done sitting, walking, standing. Nice, gentle quality, soft quality. And what we intend is for that quality to be what's the focus of the practice. Not the perfect breath, not the full volume necessarily. So it's breathing in ease from the bomb shelter. So I think I'll do one more. Thank you very much. Since I'm in the bomb shelter, if you don't hear from me soon, I may need rescuing. <laughs>